Fifth grade, chapter 10, lesson three, wait. Unlock the problem. Hector School is having a model rocket competition. To qualify, each rocket must weigh four pounds or less. Hector's unpainted rocket weighs 62 ounces. What is the weight of the most paint he can use for his model rocket to qualify for the entry? So what weight does Hector need to convert? So what does he need to convert? What does he need to make into something else? Okay, so four pounds to ounces. After Hector converts the weight, what does he need to do next? He needs to subtract the Okay, so he needs to subtract. One pound equals how many ounces? So how many ounces does one pound equal? Sixteen. So use a bar model to write an equation. So they said that he had a total of four pounds. So they did four different boxes. And then are we going to multiply or are we going to divide by 16? Multiply. Because when we're going from a larger to a smaller, we multiply. When we go from a smaller to a larger, we divide. So we're multiplying by 16 because there's 16 ounces in a pound equals, what is 16 times 4? 64. So we put 64 over here on our little gray box. And then step two is subtract the rocket's weight from the total ounces a rocket can weigh to qualify. So you can have a total of 64 ounces and his, um, his rocket unpainted would be 62 ounces. So 64 minus 62 is two. two. So the weight of the paint can be at most two ounces for Hector's model rocket to qualify for entry. So basically, this is just like how we did length and capacity, right? Okay, except for we're using, of course, new units of measurement. We're learning some new units of measurement here. Example, the rocket boosters for a U.S. space shuttle weigh 1,292,000 pounds. Each each when the shuttle is launched. How many tons does each rocket booster weigh? So use mental math to convert pounds to tons. So to decide which operation to use. Since pounds are smaller than tons, I need to multiply or divide, guys. Divide. The number of pounds by over there using my chart, what am I going to divide by, guys? 2,000, because there's 2,000 pounds in a ton. Break 2,000 into two factors that are easy to divide mentally. So they're saying something times 2 would get me 2,000. So what times 2 would get me 2,000? 1,000. Divide 1,292,000 by the first factor, then divide the quotient by the second factor. So they're saying to divide 1,292,000 divided by 1,000. So what do we do when we divide? We move the decimal to the, to the left, right? And in this case, how many zeros do I have? Three. So I'd be left with 1,292. Then I'm going to take that answer, 1,292, divided by 2. So how many times does 2 go into 12? Times 6. So 6 times. How many times does 2 go into 9? 4. 4 times. And what is 4 times 2? 8. So 9 minus 8 is? One and I bring down the two, so two and a twelve? Six. Six times. So each rocket booster weighs six tons when launched. So is that quite a bit of weight? Mm -hmm. Yes, that is quite a bit of weight. Share it and show. Use the picture to complete each equation. 
One pound equals 16, 16 ounces. Three pounds equal, or oh, sorry, two pounds equals one pound equals 16 ounces. So two pounds equals 32 ounces. Letter C, three pounds equals 48 ounces. Four pounds equals 64. 64 ounces. And five pounds equals equals what? 80 ounces. So they want us to convert. So 15 pounds into ounces. So one pound equals what, guys? How many ounces? 16. 16. So now we're going to take 16 times what? 15. 15. So 5 times 6 is 30. 30. Is that my 0? Carry my 3. 5 times 1 is? 5. Plus 3 is? 8. Cross off my 3, cross off my 5, and put a 0. 1 times 6 is? 6. 1 times 1 is? 1. So put 0. 8 plus 6 is? 14. Put a 4, carry my 1. 1 times 1 is? 2. So my answer is? 240. 240 ounces. Next one, they want 3 tons equals so many pounds. So 1 ton equals how many pounds? 2,000. Equals 2,000 pounds. Am I going to multiply or divide? Multiply because I'm going from a bigger unit to a smaller unit. So three times three times two thousand equals six equals six thousand. So the answer is six thousand pounds. Okay, three hundred twenty ounces equals so many pounds. So one pound equals how many ounces? One pound equals sixteen ounces. Am I multiplying or dividing? Dividing. I'm dividing, right? Because I'm going from a bigger or a smaller unit to a bigger unit, so I would divide. So we know from up here, from doing these problems, we know that 16 can go into 32 how many times? Twice, and then we need to add a zero. zero. So two, 320 ounces equals 20 pounds. All right, so with your partner, you guys are going to do 5 through 10 and 17 through 22, and you guys can mark off 11 through 16. So you guys can go ahead and get started on those 12 problems with your partner. Problem solving, right? Number 23, right math. Explain how you can use mental math to compare 7 pounds to 120 ounces. So we know what? Equals 16 ounces. 16 ounces. So we would take. So 7 pounds equals. So we take what? 16 times 7, right? Mm -hmm. And what would that be? 112. It would be 112 ounces, which is. Less. Than 120 ounces. Which is less than 120 ounces. Wouldn't it be greater than 120 ounces? No. 112 is less than 120, right? Okay. Alright, number 24. Test prep. Carlos used 32 ounces of walnuts in a muffin recipe. How many pounds of walnuts did Carlos use? So, 32 ounces. How many pounds? The walnuts to Carlos use. So we know one pound equals how many ounces? 16. Equals 16 ounces. So we would do what? 32, 32 divided, by divided by 16. Divided by 16 equals? 2. two. So letter G. C. Problem solving. Pose a problem. Kia wants to have four pounds of mun munchies for her party. She has 36 ounces of popcorn and wants the rest to be pretzel sticks. How many ounces of pretzel sticks does she need to buy? So they basically set up this little chart for us to use. And so basically, 
they said four pounds equals 64 ounces, and she already has 36 ounces, so 64 minus 36 is what, guys? Eight. Not eight. The floor would become 14, right? What's 14 minus? Would be eight. And then that six became a five, so 28. So she needs, so Kia needs to buy 28 ounces of pretzel sticks. Write a new problem using different amounts of snacks. Some weight should be in pounds and others in ounces. Make sure the amount of snacks given is less than the amount of snacks needed. Okay, so they wanted us to pose a problem. So we said Bob wants to have three pounds of fruit for breakfast. He already has 17 ounces of pineapple. How many more ounces of apples does he need? So we drew our little chart over here. We said the total was three pounds and it equaled 48 ounces. Then we said we already had 17 ounces, so we needed to find our amount we still needed in apples. So we took 48 minus 17, which gets us 31, right? And then um, the next thing says, write an expression you could use to solve your problem. Explain how the expression represents the problem. So we said that we took 3 pounds equals 48 ounces, and we took 48 ounces minus 17 ounces, which got us 31 ounces for the amount of apples that we needed.